of the fundamental concepts of finance can tell us a lot about government budgeting. In finance, we like to think about states of the world. So there are different future paths that we could go on. Perhaps the stock market will go up, perhaps it will go down. Perhaps interest rates will be high, maybe they'll be low. Now when governments make decisions about what to do, how to budget for the present and for the future, they don't know what state of the world is going to occur. This becomes very important when thinking about deferred promises. Governments make a lot of deferred promises. It's part of the nature of having social programs that take care of the elderly, for example. Some of these programs are constructed in a way that they can be renegotiated in certain ways. So for example, Social Security. In contrast to that, state and local governments uh, budget for pensions for their public sector employees in a very different way. They provide contracts to the employees that say, this is what you're going to get. Any deviations from that are kind of protected by state constitutions, state laws. The way that state and local governments think about this is they ask, how much do we expect to be able to earn on the assets that we set aside for deferred compensation, for public employee pensions? And those expectations are based on history, on the history of the stock market, on the history of bond markets. That history has been very good. We've had a huge bull market in stocks over the last 30 or 40 years. Essentially, what is being done at the state and local government level is to make the assumption that that bull market is going to continue and that in essence, we're going to budget assuming that it's going to continue. So if the outcomes that happen in the future are not as good as those that have happened in the past, then our future generations, our kids, are going to have to pay twice. They're going to have to pay for the pensions of the public servants that are serving us today, and they're going to have to pay in real time for the compensation of the public servants that are serving them tomorrow. The prescription is to change the entire way that we think about government budgeting, particularly regarding deferred compensation, but also in many other areas, um, not to depend on the expected returns that we really, or targeted returns that we, we hope to obtain on risky assets, but, but rather to really try to recognize the costs of buying today's services uh, today. If we fix the accounting, we can start measuring these promises the way that they should be measured using the principles of financial economics.